Well, hello. Today is Tuesday, November 2nd. We've got lots of birthdays today. It makes me very happy. Today is Connie Hulse, H-U-L-S. Connie, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Connie. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Kelly W.'s birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelly. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Margaret Robinson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Margaret. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. We always got to have one. Robin Volpicelli. Volpicelli. B-O-L-P-I-C-E-I-L-I. -I -I. Volpicelli. I messed it up last year too, Robin, didn't I? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Robin. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Nick over at Weight Watchers with Carrie. I don't know if they're watching videos because I know she's still fighting to get an internet connection going on. But I know that sometimes she uploads a lot of videos and then watches them. But if today is Nick's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nick. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope all of you have a great birthday. Um, I know that Carrie's doing some remodeling in the house, and Nick is really helping his dad a lot. So um, I know that she's been busy doing that, too. So hopefully soon we'll get her back uh, on doing the videos. Um, I got up really early this morning. You know, like I, when, even when I know I'm going to get up early, I still should go to bed earlier. But my body's just so tuned to not going to bed at the, a normal time. <laughs> like a normal human being does but I went to bed about 1 30 and I had to get up at 7 15 because uh, Jim needs to have a uh, surgery on his foot he has to have a bunion removed and then he's got a bone spur on the top of his foot that they're going to shave down at the same time but of course we can't schedule that until after hunting season <laughs> So uh, we went in today and he wanted me to go because he never like he'll get home from the doctors and I'll say well what did they say I don't know. They said I need surgery. Well, when are you going to go? I don't know. They said I should schedule it. Well, when are you going to schedule it? Well, I don't know. What are they going to do? Well, I don't know. How long is the recuperation? Well, he didn't. He said, but I don't remember. So I went with them. So we went to there. And uh, so we're going to schedule the surgery for after Thanksgiving because we have our, met our deductible for the year. So we want to get it done before Christmas. Jim doesn't do a lot of Christmas shopping. Anyhow, he kind of as he calls it, says he's the project manager. And so he has his sister, Bertie, and his daughter, Christy, <laughs> who's my daughter, too. But uh, he has them go and do all the running around for the uh, things. And uh, so now he's worried. He says, well, maybe we shouldn't put a tree up this year because I won't be able to take it down because it is a big production to take down. I take down all of the other. I put up and take down all the decorations. The only thing Jim puts up is the outside lights and the Christmas tree, which is not like just trivial. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, but but I said, you know, I can get Danny or Jimmy to come over and take the tree down and take the, the lights off. We went one, e we had one year, we went all the way to Easter with Santa and his sleigh with the reindeer frozen into the ground because Jim didn't take him out when he should have. And so then we had a couple frosts and so we had, uh, and then and we lit him up every <laughs> And we did light him up until Easter, and we lit up Santa Claus um, because he was frozen on the ground. So, I mean, I, I I love the Christmas lights. I don't know why it's just Christmas time. we got to have lights up. I think it's so festive looking, and I especially like when the snow's on the ground because then I think it looks all that much prettier. And um, so I like that people with lights up for Halloween, and, you know, I like all of that. I just uh, I wish we could keep them up all the time, but Jim, you know, no, it's just a Christmas thing, so Jim takes them down. So we're going to, he was talking about that. So anyway, we found out that he's going to do that. So then afterwards, we went to breakfast, and I had some of my pecan pancakes, although I shared them with Jim. And, uh, but he also got, he got a cherry cheesecake French toast, which was two slices of French toast with cheesecake and cherry sauce or something on it. So he ate two of my pancakes. 
And then um, I didn't have lunch. And then I had a ham and cheese sandwich for dinner. Um, but I've been dipping into some candy lately. I don't know. I don't know if it's just in the back of my mind that I'm thinking, well, you know, like the uh, new program is going to start on Monday. So why don't we just have one last fling? <laughs> That, I think that's my mindset. It's not a good mindset, but that's my mindset. But uh, so many of you, and I want to thank you because I got more than one comment, uh, gave me some tough love. I love some tough love. I think a lot of times you guys kind of shy away from giving me tough love because you think I'm going to be mad or my feelings are going to be hurt. Look at this. I know it's thin because I'm getting old, but still, look, it's still kind of thick. I really do have thick skin. I really do. Um I'm not going to say that sometimes comments don't hurt, but the comments that are truthful and not mean or vicious, just helpful, like given with tough love, I love those kind of comments too because it kind of makes me think. And it's like, you know, they were telling me that I've been making a lot of excuses lately and uh, that's Mary Fran's channel, no excuses. <laughs> um uh, I've had a lot of excuses lately, and, and I'll be the first one to admit it, and I so appreciate the tough love, because believe it or not, that does give me inspiration. It really does to give, help me stay on track, because you know, you don't know, I might be reading that comment just at a moment, a weak moment in my life that I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll just go and whip something up, or I'm going to go get in the car and go to the store to get something, and then I might read that comment, and you know, it might hurt a little bit. You know, I'm not going to say I'm human. You know, I have feelings. I mean, I'm not an ogre, although sometimes I think I look like one, but I am not an ogre. And, um, but I think that the comments usually that hurt the most are the ones that really close, hit close to the heart. <laughs> and, uh, then you realize that, uh, you know, there's a lot of truth in that statement. It really is. Now I am not asking you to go crazy going, <laughs> I I'll take a little bit of tough love. <laughs> Let's not overwhelm me with self love. You can only have so many love, so much loving in your life, and you can only have so many hugs and things like that. So, um, but like I said, um, I am very fortunate on my channel that you know. I mean, I've had my share of trolls. If you're on YouTube, you're going to have trolls. That's just the way YouTube is. You just are. And um, but maybe I'll get them today. But I can honestly say I've never really gotten any really, really hateful comments. I really haven't. Uh, I know that a lot of us don't agree politically, and um, they probably don't support a lot of the things that I believe in. But um, I, what I love about this channel and what I love about this country is that you're allowed to express yourself, your own beliefs, and not everybody's going to believe the same thing you believe. Not everybody's going to think the same way you think. But you can look past that like it used to be in the olden days, and just judge people for, you know, how you perceive them at the moment and not on their particular beliefs at the moment. It's just, um, I like the good old days when, you know, like you could have an a argument with somebody and you didn't have to get mad at them because they didn't agree with your point of view. Not everybody agrees with my point of view, and I don't agree with all your point of views, but um, I respect you for, you know, like expressing your point of view and believing in your point of view and accepting me and my point of views too because um like i said i think jimmy and i are a prime example because jimmy and i are way at opposite ends of the political thing but you know we can have a legitimate debate not an argument a debate and walk away from it not mad and so that's the way it used to be and i wish that's the way it could go back to being i really do but but this is not a political channel so let's like get away from that i wanted to congratulate because like I said, just I needed the tough love. I really, really needed the tough love. And uh, and I appreciate it. I really did. But then I also got inspiration from Nancy Who, Nancy Who 52, who has reached Wonderland. So I wanted to be the first one on YouTube, hopefully, the first one on YouTube to congratulate her. But let her know in the comments below, congratulations to Nancy Who for making it to Wonderland which we all know is my ultimate goal. I mean, I want to lose 100 pounds, which will put me really close to Wonderland. I'll just be within 4.3 pounds of Wonderland once I hit my 100-pound goal. And with your tough love, I know I'm going to hit it. I know I will. I just know I will. Okay, now I'm not asking for a ton of tough love. <laughs> now that I'm saying this. Little, 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 tiny little bit. But... um Anyway, 
I am. I I did notice that today I was able to do an update on my um, Weight Watchers app. Um, I've been checking it every day, and every day it hasn't said anything. But today it did say to do an update. And what I thought was odd. Let me see if I can find it here on my thing. Maybe it's been there all along, and I just never noticed it. But I noticed today after I did my update. We gotta wait till this thing's loads. That. Um, I, uh, obviously, I think it's getting ready for all of this stuff to come about. But let me get down to where it's at, if I can get to it without my iPad going crazy. Um, everything, I don't know if I can get this without it glaring. Let's see how I get it. And, oh, shoot. Uh, this is the way it works with me. Da, 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 da. There we go. I'll try to do a screenshot of the, my phone to show you what I'm talking about. Well, I guess you can see it. Right? Here it says more about blue. And I don't ever remember seeing that, but when you click on that, because I'm on the blue plan, um, it, gives you, it gives you the whole build a meal. And I don't know if that's always been on there, and I just never noticed it. But uh, it tells you how to, you know, to start it and get it going, and what you got to do to get the meal ideas and everything. Maybe that's always been on there, and I've never noticed it because I, I have noticed before the uh, the restaurants and the recipes. Another thing that I never noticed before was right here the zero point foods. Now, when I click on that. It shows me a whole list of zero point foods, whether it's the fruits, the veggies, the protein, or the dairy. Now, can somebody remind me? Has this always been on there? And I never really looked at my app that much, but I, I did print these off just, just in case I'm not a big fan of the new plan because I got a feeling that's going to go away. But I don't know. I mean, I remember seeing the recipes and I remember seeing the tracking and, you know, the community and the, the connect and the tra tracking the water and all of that. I remember seeing all of that before, but that was new to me. So I don't know if that, has anybody else noticed that? Let me know in the comments. I'm just wondering if this is another thing that's gone by me for like two years and now, now that they're going to end the program, all of a sudden it's on there. But it'll be something I'll look forward to seeing on the new plan. But, um... I just have to remind myself not to give up. Uh, you know, there's been many a time I thought September was going to be my month. It really wasn't. Then I thought for sure October was going to be my month. Eh, no, not so much. Although I have to say both in September and October, I did have small losses for the month. Uh, I think I lost three pounds in September and I lost 2.6 pounds in October. So I've lost 5.6 pounds over the last two months. Nothing to write home about. Not a big, great, big, huge victory. But it's a victory for as much as I've been struggling. And um, I think that I have to completely decided 100% that a Monday is going to be my new weigh-in day. Uh, one of the reasons I like it is it's going to keep me in check for the weekend. Uh, another thing is um, it's the time is going to change. Because uh, I did do that experiment in the spring when we sprang forward that it did affect my weight. My weight was different. I weighed a little bit more in the spring <laughs> than I did in the fall. So when I fall back, that might give me a little bit more of a, a gauge on that. And um, a couple people have mentioned that uh, since I eat so lightly on Friday, that must be why I think I can go crazy on the weekend, that I'm hungry. That's why I do. Uh, if that was the case, then I think I would be hungrier on um, just on Saturday, not on Sunday. Sunday is just a an excuse day then because Saturday is just making up for Friday. And if you really watched my meals, you kind of see that on Thursdays I kind of bulk up because it, first of all, was my weigh-in day. So I kind of used a lot of my weeklies on Thursday, ate a good, good amount of food on Thursdays in anticipation of not eating a lot on Fridays. And then Saturdays kind of made up because I didn't eat a lot on Fridays. But then Sundays was just a free-for-all. But what, now if I have to weigh in on Monday, I can't have that free-for-all anymore. And um, if Jim and I ever did eat out, um, like if we go out to dinner, it usually is on a Saturday night because Jim works during the week. He works afternoons. 
And a lot of people wonder why I don't eat a lot on Fridays. Uh, I grew up, and I still am, a Catholic. On Fridays, we never had meat. Growing up, I didn't realize we were poor, but we were poor. <laughs> and Fridays, my mother always cooked very lightly, and she always told us it was just a sacrifice. Um, looking back now, I just realized it was just a way to kind of like scoop in her budget, you know, like limit her budget and not have to spend a lot of money on a, a Friday meal. And uh, so we always we always had fish because back then you had to have fish on a Friday. You couldn't have meat. But uh, we always ate very lightly on Friday. And so that was just a habit I picked up. And uh, so I still follow that plan. I don't eat meat on Fridays and I eat very lightly on Fridays. And it's not something that the church requires. Um, it's just something that, that I've done for 71 years so it's just like a, although I have to say that on Good Fridays I used to not eat until I had my little incident <laughs> last year on Good Friday not this year but last year on Good Friday when I didn't eat and I realized that I've reached an age where I do need to eat so um, I think I am rethinking the part the portion of maybe I need to increase um, a little bit more on Fridays as I'm getting older as you get older you require you really do require less foods you really do but um I think maybe I'm not eating enough on Fridays. So uh, I'm going to reevaluate that also with the new plan. But um, to steal Mary Franz, no excuses. No more excuses for me. I'm not going to make any more excuses. I'm just going to own up to whatever's going on and uh, and just tell you that uh, I'm just going to own it. I'm going to own the fact that I'm going to have a gain this week. I'm going to tell you this two days early. I'm, it's not like I'm jinxing myself to have a gain but I know that my mind frame hasn't been completely on finishing up the blue plan strong for this week. It was like, let's wait and see. Let's have one final binge, which is not a good thing. And that's not an excuse. I'm not making an excuse. I'm just stating a fact. I binged because I thought I could. I know I can't, but I, in my mind, I thought I could. So um, I'll do my meeting highlights this Thursday, but starting next week, I'm going to do them on Mondays. So I'm, and I really do think that maybe if I start off on a Monday and really get a cracking on that, um, really, hopefully, it's going to open my eyes to changing my menu up a little bit more and try some new things, try some new way of eating, and uh, finish the year strong. That's my plan. So once again, thank you for the tough love. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, make sure you give Nancy who a great big shout out. Um, and I do think that this is the perfect time for me. I really do. I, you know, it was the perfect time for me on December 31st, 2016, just to know that this is the perfect time to get back on track. And even though I had a lot of weight to lose back then, and so f therefore my weight came off fairly quickly because I had so much weight to lose. As I'm a little closer to my goal, I still got a ways to go to my goal. I'm not that close, but uh, I have lost a lot of weight. I've lost almost 75 pounds. And so I have to take that into consideration. I have to take into the consideration that I'm five years older. My metabolism is a little bit slower. But uh, set some more realistic goals. Maybe a pound a week is not a realistic goal for me. Maybe a half a pound is a realistic goal for me. Half a pound is a week is better than gaining a half a pound a week. So i got to remember that. Always remember how far I've come. Um, I'm on the search for fat pictures of myself. I'm showing the same ones all the time because I didn't take very many pictures of myself. But uh, there's no quitting in me. I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on keeping on. That's what I'm going to do. So, Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention is like on the uh, tag video that was posted today and then tomorrow you'll see the Ask Us Anything with Jimmy Um I was so glad that it rained over the weekend. I know, and I know that's kind of, I know that Jimmy's on his time schedule and he wants to get everything done on his house. I know that, but you're going to see how tired. If you don't see it in the whatever Wednesday or whatever, the, well, not the whatever Wednesday, in the tag Tuesday, I think you'll really kind of notice it on the Ask Us Anything because we did them both videos at the same day at the same time. But, you know, it's a long process because, you know, we do a lot of goofing around in between. And, you know, it's just... I think he needed that rain. I think he needed that rest. I just really do. Because now he's all gung-ho again this week, back at that house. And so uh, once he can get inside, I know he can slow his pace down a little bit. But I know he's on a time schedule, but he needed the rest. So 
Now I'm going to say it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.